Hello, my name is Guy Wallace, and in this packed video short, we're going to cover the pack processes for the incumbent populations. PACT is an acronym, performance-based, accelerated, customer and stakeholder driven, training and development of any blend. When the PACT processes are targeted at incumbent populations, it's not always the case that it starts with the curriculum architecture design project. Typically, this is because there's a performance issue, a problem, or an opportunity that's really the, at the root of this intended effort. The six phases of the modular curriculum development project are in this next graphic. Project planning starts off and then an analysis of the target audience and the performance requirements, the enabling knowledge and skill requirements, and the existing training content. That would all then be used in a systematic design and then that would be developed or acquired as appropriate and then thoroughly pilot tested and then updated before it's generally released. What's, what typically happens in the analysis phase when one is looking at the ideal performance and the current state and the gaps, it is sometimes discovered that developing any training will not address the gaps and their root causes. I learned a long time ago from Joe Harless that when asked to start a training and development project to not challenge the client but to work with the client to ensure that we did the analysis that would help them discover along with us in the analyst role what the root causes of the performance problems are and if training is not an appropriate solution then the project can stop right then and there. You'll see the upside down traffic light there under the analysis box. That's the project steering team gate review meeting where the analysis data and results and recommendations are made. And although our bias in these project steering team gate review meetings is to go rather than stop, hence the upside down traffic light, if it's appropriate to stop the project and go do fixes to the process or the enabling asset provisioning systems rather than just do training, then that's the case. Stop the training project and you've done the client a service of identifying what the ideal state is, what it can be or should be, and what the actual state is, the current state is, and what is at root of any discrepancies between the two. Here is an example. Here we have a performance model for doing the quarterly and end of phase project reporting. It's kind of a made up thing here. There are two sets of outputs and tasks that align to those outputs. The first output, the ABC report on quarterly, it's got to be complete. There's three tasks for that. The next output is the XYZ report. You're all familiar with that. These two output task clusters lead to an identification of if that's what's required for the outputs and the measures and the key tasks, what's the typical performance and are there gaps? And in this case, that first report is late and it's incomplete. The second report is incomplete and it's also got inaccurate data for those portions of it that are complete. So those are the issues that are typical not a typical once in a blue moon things, but this is the typical performance. Who says so? The master performers assembled to be facilitated to generate this performance model. The probable gap causes and not root gap causes because we didn't have time to ask five whys in a row and do a deep dive on this, but off the tops of the heads of the master performers assembled to come to consensus to define ideal performance and to articulate the gaps and the causes, they have said that the reason that the ABC report is late is because the inputs that are required are late. And that's a deficiency in the environment, not a deficiency in the knowledge of the performer or deficiency in the individual performer's attributes and values, this will not be solved by training 
this group of performers or hiring and selecting differently this group of performers, this is going to require a fix to the environment. Now that could mean training and development for some other target audience outside of this particular target audience or a re-engineering of their processes and their enabling systems. But training is not going to solve this ABC report being late. Now what this can do is give to the performers a heads up that this is a typical problem. When you're trying to accomplish this portion of your work responsibilities, this is typical. You might be late because the inputs that you're waiting on are going to be late. Now perhaps master performers have strategies and tactics that they use to minimize this or to eliminate it and make sure it never happens to them. Now either their strategies and tactics are appropriate and should be taught to everyone else as best practices or they are perhaps inappropriate and other approaches should be used to fix and address this. It's happened many a time that the methods that the master performers use to avoid this and to make sure that this doesn't happen to them is inappropriate and the organization finds out for the very first time what the master performers are doing so they can stop it as necessary. All of the performance modeling is done including the gap analysis to help systematically derive the asset requirements what does the human need to bring to the process? Knowledge and skills, physical, psychological, intellectual, and personal value attributes. But the environment also needs to provide the data and information facilities, tools and equipment, etc. that are required by the process for process performance. Gaps can be found in any of these enabling assets and then one can look to the provisioning systems in terms of their adequacy in meeting the needs of the process. I hope that this video short and the series have been helpful to you in helping you to establish a practice of performance-based training and development, learning and knowledge management. I have been conducting, writing, and presenting on these methods since the early 1980s. My recent book, Six Pack, covers all of this in much greater detail.